So welcome to this quick tip, which is about templates. So you may or may not be aware, but in the Steinberg Hub, which you get when you do a new project, you've got not only your recent files, but also some templates that you can use to record from. So these can be your starting points for production, recording, etc. But you can add your own, and it's actually really easy to do. That's what I'm going to show you now. Um, templates are not the answer for everything, but if you have a situation where you always use the same setup of tracks, it's really the way to go. Or even if it's just the skeleton on which you then build, it can be the way to go. So that's what I'm going to set up now. So first things first, here we're just going to create an empty project. It doesn't really matter where it goes. So in my case, what I'm going to do is just recreate the kind of thing I use to create these videos. So in them, I have two tracks. I've got a stereo audio track so with Cubase and then I've also got a mono audio track which is my voiceover now in that I haven't got the plugins that I would normally use available on this Mac because I normally do them on the PC but I would put in typically a gate because where I record is pretty noisy so we'll just put that pretty low down so it just cuts out the very low noise etc in there I'd have a few other processors etc but let's just put in uh, a multi-band compressor just for the sake of it so you see what happens when you do that and maybe I've decided that R&B master works really well with my voice I'd also have something such as a compressor on the Cubase audio which is side chained from my mic so every time I speak it turns down Cubase a bit so I just turn that on and basically do all these things otherwise it's housekeeping I'd have to do which gets a bit tedious if you have to do it every time so that's just a rough idea of how I would have that set up make sure my time base is set anything else that I need to do so it's just all ready to go straight away once I've done that I go to file save as template so here's where the uh, magic happens, as it were. So content summary is just a description. You don't need to put anything in there, but you can do. So I'm going to just put that and template category. I'm going to put it under recording. And this, when you save new preset, this is the name that you will see in, in sort of bigger, bolder text. So I'm just going to do MTT video VO. And that's it. So notice we still haven't saved this. It's still got the uh, untitled one, the default thing in there. And if I click that, it's going to say, do you want to save this project? I don't because I've got it saved as a template. And if I want to modify it, I can load it up and then modify it. And that's fine. So just don't save. And then let's make a new project. And we'll see under recording. There's MTT Video VO. I click create. Pick where I actually want to use it this time. And you can see it's all ready to go with the compressor all the effects, anything else, it's all ready to go and you can get recording. So that's your quick tip for today.